Can this 50-year-old nugget compete with that? From the moment I rescued this Honda from the clutches of its fate, rusting away in the mountain wilderness, this project has been all about looks, not so much the function. And today, I'm presented with the most difficult task yet, deciding on the future of this build. Is it really worth rendering 9 months of work obsolete just to prove some haters wrong? We have a lot to unpack today, so stick around. So recently, I've been talking to my friend that I met through Facebook Marketplace, like all real men meet other men, friends. <laughs> and he races pit bikes. So one thing led to another, and now I'm basically burning hot for it. I absolutely must have a pit bike and go to a track to race pit bikes. I have my Honda in the back, and we're gonna go to his garage and see what is it really about. Maybe, maybe it's an excuse to buy more shit. That is a possibility because uh, while this is going on, I'm literally Facebook marketplace scissoring with another bike guy and trying to buy his bike. <laughs> Buying things online has become one of my favorite pastimes and ways to make friends. But along the way, you get to meet many like-minded people, learn new things, buy absolute bargains that you definitely didn't need, and sometimes find new hobbies. Now John here is what you would call a high-quality hoarder. Unlike me who grabs a hold of just about any rusty piece of junk out there, he chooses his things wisely and has a collection of really cool stuff. And let me tell you, I am mighty impressed. So. Explain me what is uh, what is pit bike racing. Okay. ¿Qué es? Pues al final lo que vemos es una moto super mota, reducida, tamaño medio. Sí. Llantas más pequeñas. Hasta en un circuito mediano es más competitiva que una super mota grande. No quieres coger esas velocidades en circuito grande. Tienes esto. Al final llegas a un karting, te pones a 100 y disfrutas igual que yendo a 200. Por eso. Es mucho también, más también, cómodo, también, no, no. te diviertes incluso más porque vas a velocidades más pequeñas. Te puedo poner el sí, codo, sí. a 200 te pongo el codo y no te hace gracia. Pero a 50 sí es divertido. Who can, who can race pit bikes? Todo el mundo. La base es infantil porque los niños al final buscan motos de carretera y buscan esa soltura con la moto pequeña para cuando lleguen a la grande poder soltarla. Es como que un go-kart para, para coches, ¿no? Gente de nuestra edad. 30, 40, ya hemos bajado el nivel, alguna lesión como yo de hombro, sí. rodilla, mucho más económico, circuito Eso. más económico, Eso. entonces todo varía un poco, ¿no? Eh, más pequeño, menos gasto. Yo tenía la Honda, como te comenté, y un juego de Honda, un juego de neumático, son 400 euros. El juego de estos son 150. Fui con, uh, con un ninja, ninja uh, un mil. La cosa que recuerdo lo más es que, ¿sabes? Cuando tienes... Un 180 caballos, tú, tú, si no eres preparado de, de niño, no entiendes nada que pasa, solo tienes miedo de puta de qué pasa. Porque piensas mucho. Un niño no piensa, tú cuando ya tienes 30, 40, demasiadas cosas. Dices, ah. ¿cuánto daño me voy a hacer? <risa> Un niño de 15 años se cae y ah, bueno. <risa> se ríe. I think the most important question here is this. Do you think my Honda Charlie could, uh, could compete? Yo creo que realmente sí porque es muy similar al final. Quizás está muy baja ahora, pero modificándola un poco... Yo creo que sí, y puede ser bastante divertido. Ahora mismo, este proyecto no es velocidad, sí. es disfrutar. Cuando vayas una vez, dos, tres, vas a buscar la velocidad. Entonces todo cambia. Haremos otro vídeo y... ¿Cómo, cómo podemos mejorarla? ¿Turbo? <risa> We will really have some sleepless nights to figure out what exactly we want to do. So let's have a look at what it is we need to do in order to become competitive with this bike. And there's a bunch of things that we would need to change. Absolutely, the biggest change I would need to do is proper swing arm. This swing arm will not work. That would mean a pit bike swing arm, which is longer and stronger, but also that would mean a monoshock at the rear. I would need to cut a large portion of the rear frame and weld in some supports for, for that monoshock to be there. The front suspension doesn't quite 
quite work properly either. The other big thing is the wheels. These that I've made with spacers, they are fine with uh, funking around and having some fun and whatnot, but uh, they are, I, I would not call them necessarily safe for track use, for going 130, 140 and going leaning into turns. It's just the most of the things that we actually hurt me about this is just destroying the work I've done, you know, widening the wheels, uh, extending the swing arm making the pit bike suspension in the front and probably the steering wheel as well. So all through all, going to racing with this bike is shooting yourself twice in your legs. It's never going to be competitive because the geometry of this is not right. The weight is not going to be correct on it. it. There's many things that are done for it not to be the fastest it could possibly be. For example, this awesome exhaust. You let me know what you think. Should we really scratch all this work I've done and just start from the start? That's, that's all we learned today about pit bikes and I think this absolute beast would be pretty amazing to start it. If we get 100 likes, we get to hear this bike. What do you think guys? We can get 100 likes and hear this beast and maybe even actually go to a track and actually join them to see what's up. So yeah, so yeah, let me know in the comments what we do with that because at the end of the day this video is about this to figure out if we can actually take it to a track. So let me know if you want to keep it like it is and I finish the project or you want to turn it into this and compete with this. And we'll go from there, so you let me know in the comments. And that's it for today, you already know what's up. Stay tough, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, we cannot put that in video, I'm just worried.